Good Sunday morning, ABC 10 meteorologist Brendan Minchev here. Another Sierra blizzard update for you this morning uh, because we have had some changes in the forecast, including an extension of the blizzard warning. So let's jump into it on this Sunday morning. Uh, the first thing to talk about is the bigger picture, right? This low pressure, the center of that low pressure that's been bringing us this really cold storm, this wet storm, all the snow uh, and the rain to the valley. The center of the storm is now moving on shore in the Pacific Northwest. And so what that's doing is it's changing the overall flow of the weather pattern. So take a look at this here. You see, you see this kind of curve right here? Uh, well, yesterday it was really pushing a lot more kind of southwesterly uh, out of the southwest into the Sierra. It was hitting the Sierra really perpendicular, almost at a 90 degree angle there. Very, again, perpendicular is uh, kind of the technical term. And that is the perfect angle for us to get the moisture uh, up the Sierra, kind of push it up the hill and allow it to be wrung out over the hill, right? Kind of like wringing out a towel. Uh, all that moisture falls out. When it hits it at that 90 degree angle, it's it's really, really perfect conditions for getting a lot of snow in a very short amount of time when you've got that wet storm. But now that the center of this low pressure uh, is moving on shore, the flow is not quite the same. The flow is a lot, the flow, excuse me, is a lot more westerly, right? It's more out of the west. It's not quite at that 90 degree angle. So we've still got uh, snow falling. We've still got heavy snow at times, but because we're losing kind of that perfect, you know, southwesterly flow is becoming a lot more westerly. Uh, we're no longer seeing the snowfall rates that we have seen and the lower elevation uh, conditions, the blizzard conditions that we've seen at the lower elevations are starting to taper off. So let's zoom in. Look at the last several hours here across northern California. It's a 12 hour loop and we've had some rain in the valley, but look at that heavy snow we had overnight. Then that flow started to change, becoming a little more westerly and it has started to let up a little bit. Doesn't mean conditions are great up there today. Doesn't mean we're out of the woods because we are not out of the woods just yet. Uh, but it does mean that things are improving a little bit uh, considering uh, where we were, especially Friday into Saturday and through Saturday night. So uh, let's continue uh, with the coverage here by taking a look outside, right? This is important. We can look at it on a map, but it helps to really uh, see what's happening. This is I-80 at Floriston. This is I-80 at Soda Springs, US-50 at Ice House, US-50 at Pioneer Trail. And we noticed a lot of white on the cameras. Uh, there's still a lot of snow up there. One thing on uh, Interstate 80 that I'll point out, we're starting to see a little bit uh, of a lane developing. Crews have been out. I've been watching these cameras since about roughly 4 o'clock this morning. Uh, and crews have been out there plowing quite often. They've had the Caltrans and CHP vehicles uh, going over there, trying to keep a lane uh, relatively clear. But Interstate 80 is still closed. There hasn't been any passenger traffic on 80 since Friday afternoon, early evening. So it has been shut down for well over 24 hours uh, at this point. And there's no sign of it reopening anytime soon. Uh, CHP Truckee tweeted this morning at about 7, 730, uh, saying that uh, there's no estimated time uh, of reopening Interstate 80. So that's where things stand right now. Not a good day to go up 80. 50 conditions are a little better. This is at Ice House, uh, just to, uh, past Pollock Pines a little bit there. Uh, and you can see some lanes uh, on the road. So that's some good news. At least 50. There are chains. It's still open, though. Not quite as bad. Uh, that's kind of at the mid elevations, though. You look up at the higher elevations on 50. Uh, this is closer to Myers here, and you can't really see the road. So uh, it, it really depends on where you are in elevation, but generally stay out of the high country today. Interstate 80 remains closed from Colfax all the way to the Nevada state line. Well over 70 miles of interstate completely shut down. Chain controls Placerville to Meyer, Myers on 50, and then 88 here uh, is closed as well from roughly Bear River Road to Pickett's Junction. Now, these are just the main routes, right? We're not even talking about some of the side routes, such as Highway 20. Uh, really don't recommend going up there either. That's been closed uh, to locals only. We, uh, not I say we, but CHP and Caltrans doesn't want uh, the passenger traffic, the commercial traffic that would normally go up 80 to be taking these side roads like 20 up into the Sierra because it's not safe. Uh, they don't have the same amount of crews out there helping to keep things plowed, keep, keep things clear. So uh, if you can't go up 50, uh, which I recommend you don't because it's still snowing pretty good. If you can't go up 50, don't go up at all uh, is the message. So I'm taking a look at some of the 24 hour snowfall totals. This is uh, from Friday morning's measurement, Saturday morning's measurement and Sunday morning's measurement. 33 inches at Boreal, 31 inches Palisades Tahoe over the last 24 hours, 26 inches Sierra at Tahoe. We haven't got the measurement from the snow lab yet as of this recording and then Sugar Bowl. 
35 inches. Look at these totals. This is in feet now, right? The totals almost seven feet at Boreal, six feet Palisades, Tahoe, five and a half feet, Sierra at Tahoe. Uh, this does not take into account what we've seen Saturday into Sunday, because again, we haven't had that 24 hour reading yet, but already three and a half feet. Well, more than that at this point, Sugar Bowl, about seven and a half feet of snow, and we're still expecting more. This is not uh, the final tally here just yet in terms of snowfall. So we are a little bit behind uh, some of the numbers that we thought we might see. We thought some of the upper elevations might get 10 to 12 feet. Snowfall ratios have been lower. Uh, we've seen ratios of uh, roughly eight to one or 10 to one. So that would be eight inches uh, of liquid water for uh, sorry, excuse me, one inch of liquid water for eight inches of snow or uh, one inch for 10 inches, right? One inch of liquid water for 10 inches of snow. That's a little drier, right? That's a little more cement uh, than what we've seen, well, than what we kind of expected to see, which would have been uh, 12 inches of snow for every one inch of water. That would have given us higher snowfall totals. That would have put us closer to the 10 to 12 foot range at this point. Uh, but still, uh, when you're talking about snow over five, six, seven feet, it is treacherous travel up there as certainly impacting a lot of communities. Uh, and again, we're still expecting another one to two feet. One other thing to mention about these snowfall totals, we've seen wind speeds on the higher uh, mountains on the kind of the wind exposed mountains well in excess of 100 miles an hour, 120, 130 miles an hour. Palisades Tahoe has even seen uh, wind speeds of uh, about 170 to 180 miles per hour. Uh, and what that does, that also blows the snow around. So if we didn't have the wind and we just were expecting 10 feet of snow, it would stack up. We can very easily measure that. When we have the wind, your snow accumulates, but then it gets blown, right? So uh, the wind sheltered areas will see higher snowfall totals than wind exposed areas, which will see lower. So even though we've said five to seven, eight feet across most of the mountains, we could truthfully have been more than that. It's just kind of impossible to measure uh, because of the wind we've seen. Blizzard warning continues across the high country. This was supposed to expire at 10 o'clock this morning, but instead it has been extended all the way to midnight uh, for areas above 6,500 feet. Winter weather advisory for the foothills until noon. Winter storm warning uh, for the coastal range continues until Tuesday. So let's break this down a little more. In the Sierra, that blizzard warning, like I said, continues until midnight now for areas above 6,500 feet. Winter storm warning 12 a.m. Monday to 4 a.m. Wednesday. So as soon as that blizzard warning expires, Winter storm warning kicks in uh, because we are expecting more snow lingering through the mid part of this week. In the foothills, that winter weather advisory only until noon on Sunday. So that does expire pretty quickly because snow levels will lift out of the foothills. We'll be in the two to 3,000 foot range for most of the daytime today. Coastal range in Shasta, winter storm warning continues above 2,000 feet until 4 p.m. on Tuesday. So this main storm, this blizzard storm, the leap day blizzard, right? That is finally starting to move on out of here. And we'll, we'll say we can be done with that by about midnight. But then we've got a weaker system coming in that'll bring us some snow showers, heavier snow at times through about Monday and Tuesday. So here's Futurecast. By about noon today, we have some scattered showers across the valley. Snow moderate to heavy through the lunchtime and afternoon hours across the Sierra. We continue with the scattered shower chances in the valley. Don't expect anything heavy today, uh, but there's that chance we could see a weak thunderstorm, kind of like what we've seen uh, the last few days. Snow continues through the overnight hours in the Sierra. At midnight, as we saw that blizzard warning expired, but the winter storm warning immediately kicked in. So this is now Monday morning, I actually expect we'll see a little bit more snow uh, than what this model is suggesting. Most of the other models are showing, again, one to two feet of additional snowfall uh, coming Monday and Tuesday. That's why we've got that winter storm warning. This is showing more of it north of Interstate 80 up into Plumas County. Uh, but the entirety of the Sierra there above about 4,000, 5,000 feet uh, has that chance of seeing, again, one to two feet more snow to come through Monday and Tuesday. We stay mostly dry in the valley Monday and Tuesday. Some scattered shower chances, especially in the northern Sacramento Valley, but from about Sacramento to the south, again, mostly dry conditions expected through this coming week. Uh, Tuesday by noon, we still have some snow chances in the Sierra. So again, uh, we're not out of the woods. Model snowfall totals uh, are, are going to be another one to two feet coming through the first couple days. And I stress this because, you know, I don't want folks to think, well, that blizzard warning expires at midnight tonight, Monday, Tuesday will be fine. We'll be back to normal. Not necessarily the case because with the additional snowfall coming, uh, it's going to hamper efforts a little bit to recover from the blizzard that we've had, right? To recover uh, from all the snow, keep those roads clear because we're going to continue to add some snow through Monday and Tuesday. So through about Tuesday at 10 o'clock, snowfall totals, you can see mostly I-80 to the north looking at that one to two feet range uh, and then about a foot of snow along four and 50, 88 as well. So 
More to come. Just again, just because that blizzard warning is about to expire doesn't mean we are done with the snow. So the takeaway still don't go today. Today, really not a good day because the blizzard warning continues. Many roads are still closed. Interstate 80 still closed. Uh, we've got chain controls just about everywhere else. Uh, four uh, has got closures. 88's got closures. 89's got closures. 20. Uh, I mean, you pick pick your highway uh, up in the Sierra and there are closures. Uh, and or some mix of chain controls and above 6,500 feet, those blizzard conditions are expected to continue. So again, it's another day. Uh, stay out of the high country. Plenty of things to do here in the valley. We've got lots of concerts going on, free museums. So there's plenty of things to do down in the low elevations. That's why I recommend staying uh, for today. Although the opportunity to go up is coming. It's a lot closer than it has been. Uh, again, we've got snow showers in the high country Monday and Tuesday, but then by midweek, look at this. We clear out across the region. We're going to have warmer temperatures, clearer skies as well. So this is for the valley. We're looking at highs in the mid to upper 60s, especially by the time we get to Friday. So again, nicer weather is on the way. Next weekend looks to be a lot better to head up to the Sierra as well. So late weekend and next weekend, much better travel conditions. That gives everybody up in the high country a few days uh, to kind of dig out and uh, recover from the storms that we've had and still the, another foot to two uh, that we will have up in the Sierra. So again, better weather on the way. Go ahead and stay out of the high country uh, for today if you can. Uh, besides, I-80 is closed. You're going to have a heck of a time trying to get up there. Uh, a lot of ski resorts are still uh, having some mixture of some power outages and trouble keeping things open. And with the wind, we'll have some lift issues as well. So uh, again, just, you know, if you don't have to go up there, if you can wait until next weekend, the weather will be a lot better anyway, especially later on in the week. If you can get up there maybe Friday, uh, that would be the, the day to go because, again, weather's looking quieter, things are looking warmer, even have some sunshine up there as well. So uh, that is the latest on the Sierra Blizzard. Thanks for watching ABC 10 and ABC 10 Plus. Be sure to stay with us uh, because, again, we're not out of the woods just yet. The other meteorologists will have some more updates for you as well. Thanks for watching.